Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about these uh, speaker stands. Okay, these are very important product that you have to have, especially if you are using stand mount bookshelf speakers because they need to be stable, they need to be at the right high end, they need to be able to handle the weight end as well as providing you much needed stability and foundation that you may need for your high quality sound reproduction. So I had tried so many different type of speaker stands from up to a thousand dollar pair to like fifty, sixty dollar piece by mono price and all that. As well as I try my own speaker stand that I designed and I made, which I use with the Kef R three hundred back in like two thousand fifteen or so. Because I tried the origin stand, the stability is not that great. I wasn't happy for the price that I had to pay, and I end up changing it to my own stand that I'll show you here, which has the uh, full poles on each corner with the uh, oval shaped center pole that are made of uh, HDF, and those are all vinyl wrapped. So that is yeah, my favorite speaker stand for stability and weight handling and everything, but not everyone can build their own speaker stand, so I will be showing how to give you better performing, better weight handling, and more stable speaker stand from here. So just two stands here that I'm gonna give you example. These are Bowers and Wilkin STAV 24, 24 inch speaker stands. I just want to share my honest opinion. Okay, these are none of these products are pay review, just to let you know. So this one is uh, mass produced steel stand that you can buy around $200 price range depending on where you purchase it. If you look around probably you can get around like $220 or so. The reason is they are very solid, good quality nuts and bolts. Very different than those $100 a pair speaker stand they offer by some companies so it's not the same. And features and everything, not the same either. Adjustability, not the same. Only two speaker stands are kind of boring, so let's get the uh, speakers on top of it. Here you go, here's my two of my favorite stand mount speakers that money can buy. This red one is really beautiful and great sounding, probably best two-way speakers money can buy at this moment. This one is Musician Audio Night One. Bookshelf speaker, this one is CSS Audio 1TDX Superior Bookshelf Speakers, which I built. I was going to do a comparison review of these two speakers, but I cannot because this Musician Night One speaker is so good that it's not going to be fair comparison regardless of the selling price. So let's get back to these stands. Okay, I'm using the same stands, but I, I totally changed the overall weight handling and stability. So many manufacturers claim that their stands can handle 75 pounds, 80 pounds, or whatever the weight that they can handle. It's not a big deal because you just put in load on the top of it that it can handle the weight. Most of the stands can handle the weight. Even your standard counter stool can do better job than most of the speaker stand when it's come to weight handling. So that is not the issue. Main issue is the stability. How stable they can be when they are handling and when they are loaded with heavier load. So most of the speaker stands can handle speakers weight up to like 20 pounds, no problem. This uh, CSS audio, uh, one TDX weights less than 20 pounds. This one weights about 34 pounds, close to 34 pounds, this uh, Musician Night One speakers. So when it's come to that kind of heavyweight bookshelf speakers, okay, 34 pounds for the uh, bookshelf speaker is pretty heavy. So then uh, that we will have an issue that, you know, it may be not stable because it's top heavy, heavier than the actual stand. Only the stand will be heavy if you fill with something, you know, lead shots or like hobby sense or something, then uh, the stand will be probably about same weight as this 
speaker in my case. So what happened then is the uh, top heavy speaker really destabilized the uh, overall st whole stand thing that you may have in your room. The top load is okay up to whatever the weight that you may want to load. But if you push them from the side, if you push slightly or if you touch them from the side slightly, the stability, stability is not good at all. So what I come up with, the um, this go for any speaker stands, okay? It doesn't matter you use 20 inch or like 24 inch or 26 or 28 or even 32. What happened is higher that you go, less stable it will get. Then you will need to have some sort of solution to stabilize that stand. So what I did was this stand, I put the uh, sound CD outriggers. This one is not the smallest one. This one is just above it. So this one can handle a lot of weight. Adjustment is very easy and very solid foundation that you will have. I bolted down from the bottom using the washer, so which totally change the uh, that stability issue. Outrigger's job is to give you stability that you need for whether floor standing speakers or even bookshelf speakers, especially heavy bookshelf speakers like this Musician Audio Night One, which can be greatly benefit from it because if you have that kind of outriggers. So my advice is before you go out and buy a very expensive speaker stands, just use the uh, you know, regular steel pipes and tripod legs and all that, then I try that as well. They are very good stands, but when it's come to stability, not as good as my solution, okay? My solution goes cheaper than those uh, solid steel uh, tripod speaker stands because this one is more stable and it has the uh, full corner stabilized with outriggers and it can bear a lot of load and more stable than anything that I ever tried. So this one is goes to any kind of speaker stand that you may have. Let's say you have a monolith or Pangea or manufacturer stands, then uh, you worry about the stability, then uh, I suggest you to try that uh, outriggers to your stand, try to attach it, just use the, uh, probably most of the speaker stands come with the uh, either M6 or M8 bolts, so you might want to look into that, or maybe some come with a standard bolt, so may, that's easy, okay? You just need to find the thread of what they use, and you can use the washer to attach the uh, outriggers from the bottom mounting position, just bolt it on, basically, so then you will have a very stable foundation for your speakers. Another thing that I did was, the, when I built this uh, CSS1TDX, I did the uh, M6, uh, screw on mount at the bottom of the speaker so I can bolt it down on this speaker stand which also gave me better stability with, along with having that uh, vibration control uh, silicone pads underneath the speaker between the top plate of the stand with the bottom of the speaker and it works totally fine. If you want to know your vibration control is working, when you're playing loud music, just touch the uh, this pole area of the stand. If you don't feel any vibration coming through, then your vibration control is working. Let's say if you're gonna buy a speaker stand from a solid steel, you know, like tripod speaker stand, it costs you around like between six to $700 range for a pair of them. My solution is much cheaper, okay, less than $500 and you got better foundation, better stability and probably better weight as well compared to those uh, higher price speaker stand. Even if you have a lower price speaker stand such as a Pangea or even like Monolith and add that outriggers it will totally outperform any of those stands that you can buy for six, $700 price range. It will have incredible stability with, it can totally handle a lot of weights, okay? Not many speakers have the over 30 pound weights like this Musician Audio Night One speaker. So that is the, my actual experience and solution that I like to share with you if you want most stable speaker stand for your money. Just get those uh, monolith or whatever the speaker stand that you can have like around 100 
to $120 for a pair of them and just add that Sound CD outriggers to it. Unless if you want to build your own outriggers, probably you will save more money, but you will not have adjustable control like Sound CD will offer. That's where it's going to be different because getting into that much of an R&D is going to cost a lot of time, not only the money. So totally what every penny in my opinion so just buy decent speaker stand the mount floor mount option most of them come with the you can have a something screw on so all you need is the uh, right size of a uh, bolts and washer to go on it so then uh, you will have a more stable speaker stand that you will ever dream of and probably you will be very happy that because you don't have to spend six seven hundred dollars those speaker stands are not even as stable as my solution. That's the whole point. So save money, better stability, and probably better weight bearing as well. So that is my solution that I like to share with you. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening.